This is literally what I do before my coaching calls because I like to go deep, quick, and because I've been doing it for so long, uh, it's easy for me to go there, but I like to just put myself in the right headspace and mind space to do that. It's cold. It's December 12th. Mid December. My God, my God. It's cold. I'm going to turn my seat warmer on. And I'm going to turn my steering wheel warmer on. Good morning, YouTube. How are you? We are shooting another day in the life today. Diane is back from her vacation in Vietnam. How long were you gone for? Two weeks. Yeah, two weeks, two weeks. It's like a lifetime in YouTube world. Today is going to be a fun day. You guys are going to come with me for the entire day. Today is going to be a little bit of a different day. So I am going to be in and out of the office, but a big focus is going to be working on my business, working on myself. I highly, highly recommend always doing personal and self-development because like I've said before, uh, if you're not growing personally, you're not growing professionally. So that's what the focus of today is going to be. I have been driving this Buick now for a couple of months, really loving it. I'm loving this heated steering wheel and I really love this whole dashboard. So it was an easy car to jump into and start driving right away. It didn't take me days to kind of figure out, you know, how to turn the wipers on, how to turn the heat on, how to connect your phone, stuff like that. It's very, very intuitive. So I really like that feature about the Buick. And uh, it's just a great car to drive around the city. What a beautiful morning. Can we get a good like sun flare by my face? Sure. You know when you walk by the, or walk by, drive by the sun. <laughs> All shiny and bright. My highlighter glowing. <laughs> You guys, I cut my hair. Do you like it? You guys have seen a lot of hair changes on this channel. Thank you to all you guys who also follow me on Instagram who had complimented me last night because I was posting photos. The funniest compliment was a couple of you guys said, oh my God, you look so much better. Better, okay, okay. I think that is good. I think that's a good compliment. Kicking off with a monthly meeting that I have with a little business group, a little forum. There's about five of us that get together once a month with a really amazing business guru who is somewhat of a mentor. So I started working with him about a couple months ago now. It has been amazing already in a very short amount of time. I've learned a ton about running a business at this scale. So I'm really looking forward to that. That's what I start off with this morning. Oh, it is cold today. Okay, meeting's done. Ready? We're gonna head back over to the office. I've had this office for five and a half years and I think that this literally Caution. narrow lanes see this literally oh see <laughs> is the smallest parking lot in all of downtown vancouver every time i park i have to 
Austin Powers in and out of my spot every morning and every afternoon. I have to say you guys, one thing that I love about this little compact luxury SUV is that it feels a lot bigger than it is, but it's small and petite, which is amazing. Trying to juggle all my social media commitments at the same time. Good morning. How's it going? Good. Hi, Nico. Nice to see you. Aww. I was just thinking the other day that you haven't had her here for a while. Yeah. Do you want me to just find out and then I'll call you right back? Yeah, you can send me. Your hair looks good. Yeah, do you like it? Yeah. Oh, it's so short. It's so short. It's so short. I said three inches, which in my mind is like this much. Yeah. That's that three is inches. Three inches. Is that? Oh no. Okay, fine. Three? Yeah. Well, because I was looking at here. <laughs> That's three. She yeah. took off like this much. Double. Yeah. Like six inches, and so I was. There was a moment when I was sitting in the chair, and I was like. <gasps> Just, like, can't look. <laughs> yeah, I can't look. I can't look. I'm sweating. But no, I, I like it. Yeah, it looks good. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hi. Hi. <laughs> you two meet Vanessa. Hi. Vanessa, meet you two. Nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> um, you guys will be seeing lots of her because she's our new studio manager. Well, you guys met her when we were doing the office tour. Did we send that work authorization? I have it all ready to go. I okay. I just wanted to make sure that you were cool with me including yeah. this. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So yeah, I'll send it right now. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Vietnamese food. <laughs> Probably not as good as you just ate while you're in Vietnam. Yeah, I would bring it over. <laughs> I love Vietnamese food. So cabinets ish, uh -huh. countertops, flooring, you know. Uh -huh. So this is the print. Mm -hmm. These are the two options. This is like mm. an install shot. I love that. Mm -hmm. So it kind of has like that watercolor mm -hmm. texture. Mm -hmm. I like really the bananas. Cool. It's really cool. I just want to know what your, mm -hmm. your thoughts are. Yeah. Do you think it's too muted? That was kind of my first thought. That was that my first thought too. Is that this has a lot more personality. Yeah. It just feels more fun. It's more vibrant. Okay, easy, done. Because yeah. this is the one I wanted to use anyways. Okay. So if that was your gut instinct too, yeah. good. Yay. When can you get it in? Like, does it take I think it can here? get here in a week. Oh, that's fast. It's really fast. So I can oh, install okay. it like okay. early in the new year. So we'll have it for the reveal episode, the second one, which will be good. I love marzipan. It is my favorite. It's the German in me. Just the flavor is so good. The almond, the dark chocolate. There's like little chocolate mousse in there too. It's good. So it's 12.15. I'm just gonna buzz over to Gastown for a special project that I am starting up. And uh, I'm doing a call out to Toronto. Uh, which is really cool and um, I need a boardroom. <laughs> I need a quiet space or an office. <coughs> oh God. <laughs> it's the mercy pen. <laughs> but thought I would drive over there because the weather looks like it's gonna take a turn here and this Buick is just so darn comfortable that why not? Get a small 
small Americano to go? Yes. Thanks. How are you? Yeah? Good. Stepped outside to rainy Vancouver. It's typically what Vancouver's like in December. Now I am buzzing over to Coal Harbor for my coaching call. And I typically do these calls actually in the car. I kind of do them on an as needed or as wanted basis. So it's not like I do a regular coaching call once a month because I've been coaching with my coach for so long. Um, we just check in whenever I feel like I need to or want to. To be honest, I can't even remember the last time it was that I had a call with her, maybe ugh, at least six months ago, maybe eight months. I don't think it was quite a year, but it's, pro it's probably been a while. So I feel like now with a bunch of new stuff happening at work, Lots of changes happening in my personal life, lots of growth happening, which is always really exciting to me. I just kind of felt like now is a good time to do a call. I usually like to go to somewhere that is calm and somewhere where there's a little bit of nature. So the great thing about Vancouver is that we live in a city that's surrounded by the ocean and there's lots of places to go and park where you can be just sitting and overlooking the ocean, looking at nature. Even on a rainy day like today, I still find it incredibly calming and relaxing and really soul nourishing to be so connected to nature. So this is literally what I do before my coaching calls because I like to go deep, quick, and because I've been doing it for so long, uh, it's easy for me to go there, but I like to just put myself in the right headspace and mind space to do that. So this is one of those times when I really like to just take a deep breath, let everything go, calm myself, center myself, and then being in a car and making a call I feel like I'm in my own little bubble, which is great. The touchpad in this Buick, I really love because when your phone connects with Bluetooth, all your contacts are instantly uploaded. So it's super easy to find people who are part of your contacts, but still, I don't ever have to look down at my phone if I want to make a call when I'm on the move. And you guys know I always make calls when I'm on the move. One thing that I learned, which is maybe a really good tip for you guys, um, is the idea of transitioning. And if you are like me and you have a really busy work life and a really busy personal life and just busy in general, and you're going from thing to thing to thing, sometimes it's nice to just take a second and get centered and set an intention before transitioning into that new thing. So that way you can kind of bring your best self to whatever it is that you need to do next and leave whatever you just left behind. So when I go home, I don't want to necessarily bring my work self home, taking a second to just pause and set an intention for how I want to walk through the door is super important. Or if I left a really difficult meeting and I'm going to the office, maybe I don't want to bring all that energy with me into the office. So taking a second to just pause and set an intention for how I want to be in the office is a great way to transition and move throughout the day. 
Kelsey is taking the lead on a really awesome Indian restaurant project that we're working on, which is so amazing because anything that's Indian is like rich with color and texture and history and so beautiful. Do you want to tell everyone kind of what stage we're at? Yeah, so we're just wrapping up the space planning of this two-story restaurant and we're starting to dive into concept imagery. And we're just diving into creative. Did mention the uh, perception of whether this material is a fine dining one, like culturally. So, right. yeah. Which, so interesting. Yeah. It's so interesting. Because I feel like when you're working with different cultural elements, when it's local, those elements feel so luxurious and glamorous and interesting and, you know, just different and unique. But then if the person is from there, they don't want it to feel too authentically Indian because they want it to feel a little bit more Western. Yeah. Same with Chinese. Like, they don't want Chinese-made materials. They want Western or European because mm -hmm. that feels like luxury. So it's just the meshing of different cultures. Yeah. Throwing it out there, would you be open to doing, like, if the space looked like this, mm -hmm. pairing it with a bigger pattern mm -hmm. less like so it's not so intricate so it's not yeah. so intricate mm -hmm. i think we might have to play a scale a little bit like we're playing with small intricate next to big yeah because mm -hmm. if yeah if not then i feel like it could get too busy I mean, he was like he's a michelin star chef so that's what they want like extreme fine dining they want fine, mm -hmm. fine, dining. fine dining so it's only going to be open for private dining but their images that they sent through were a lot less detailed than this. So maybe it's taking inspiration from Yes, this. and finding a happy medium. Because yeah. this is super ultra luxury, mm -hmm. no expense spared, custom metal, custom screens, mm -hmm. marble staircases with brass inlays. Mm -hmm. It's like the highest you can go. Mm -hmm. So I do, I agree. I think it's taking their images and taking this and then putting it together. Okay, I'm gonna meet with Vanessa. Thanks for showing that to me. I called to cancel. Oh, you don't have to do that. Why? But you gotta get your hair done. Oh no, now I feel bad. No, but it's okay. I was debating it anyways, so I'm using it as an excuse. Debating getting your hair done, you mean, or? So that's what I did. I canceled my cut twice, and then when I finally went, I was like, no, we're doing three, we're cutting, we're doing, we're cutting. And now I love it. So maybe that'll be the same thing with you. Bye. Well, I appreciate you doing that. Thank you. I just got an email that the Coal Harbor Penthouse made it into Taste of Life. Ooh. A look inside one of Canada's priciest homes. Very cool. You ready to go home? You had a hard day at work? We all did. Ugh. There you go. I'm leaving the office at 7.45. Just another day in the life. You work until you don't have to introduce yourself. Isn't that how the saying goes? I love that saying. So Merry Christmas. Thank you guys for watching today's video. Love you and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now. There you go, I want dip. <laughs> and then like oh my God. do dip and then they'd eat it. But then they'd also eat gross things like you could do celery and they would eat it thinking that they would get something else afterwards. It looks really good. No, I am...